Welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. It's finally back. The 1944 Survive Challenge Series is back. Lots of suggestions for this nation that I missed the first time round, which is the Netherlands. So let's go. Oh, it feels a while since I've done one of these. So the Netherlands, we have Mr. Arthur in charge. So we've got land fort construction speed, which is good. German, oh, we are a puppet of Germany, aren't we? Oh, that's not good. Uh, the focus tree, which is actually nice. I was expecting a generic focus tree, so that's a bonus, definitely. Most of it's been done, but we've got a lot of stuff we can still do. Let's just start with some sieves. Research four slots, which is nice. We'll go get concentrated and the other industry bits. And then what else do we want? Guns are all up to date, which is nice. Let's go and get upgraded artillery. That's probably going to help. Six mils. So let's get at least the new guns making. This is pathetic. Six military factories. Let's get some artillery as well. We're on total mob. We haven't really got any advisors that really make a difference, which is a shame. Uh, we have got the army general, so we'll take chief of army. And we'll grab some other military advisors as well. Right, we'll take the war propaganda stuff. Any other good decisions? Relocate the government to Bataveria. That's sort of done. Um, manpower's okay, but we will get women in the workforce since we're on total mob. But I am a puppet, so I assume I'm losing most of it. Don't. Oh, I can't get any guns. Ooh. The Treaty of London. If I have Luxembourg and Belgium, I can core it all. That's definitely something I want to try and do. I haven't actually got an army, so we've got boring division, smaller boring division with recon, even smaller boring division, and a boring marine. Okay, a lot of work to do. Let's just start with this normal infantry. We'll put some artillery and engineering company wherever it is there. Add that bad boy up. And how many can we get? We'll start with 10, 11, oh, maximum 11, that'll do. Right, I've got no army at the moment to help the Italians or the Germans in the Soviets, but they're doing green, so we're looking okay to start with. We'll just wait until our army is deployable. For some stupid reason, I don't actually own the cores of my own country, so I'm occupying quite a bit of the Netherlands. I assume this is because we're a Reichskommissariat of it and not actually the Netherlands, but that is very irritating. No wonder I have no manpower. Yeah, it's all called by Netherlands. And the Germans, that's not even the right land, is it? Because they start as owners of the land because of the mod. I forgot about that, so I can't even get the Belgium or Luxembourg off of them. Right, we deployed our army at least. Oh, at least we've got some field marshals, so that's a one bonus going into it at the moment. So, have we got any good generals? Oh, yes, Godfrey, you're not too bad, are you? Right, I got bored, and I thought this was going to be a really boring run. So, I've released myself. I've given myself Belgium and Luxembourg, and then at least I can become... Who have we become? Leo Belgius, possibly. So, at least we'll have a bit of a run now. So, we've got manpower. We've reunited the low countries... Yeah, United Netherlands, and we own it all. Otherwise, it's going to be very boring. But now we've got 38 mils, which is good. So let's get some support equipment, more artillery, more trucks, and we'll get some anti-air, and we will become a proper fighting force. And speaking of fighting forces, if you're a big fan of World War II strategy games like myself, then you will love today's sponsor, which is World War Armies. This is a real-time strategy game brought to you by indie developer Hype Masters. So, it started life as a PC game, but launched first on mobile in 2022, but the studio are bringing it back home to PC. Playing as different factions, you must capture resource points, build an army and defeat your enemies, using a multitude of different units, vehicles and abilities, each of which have their own unique feel, design and stats. The game will be releasing very soon with early access coming later this month. I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description as well as up here. So head on over there and take a look and don't forget to add it to your wish list to stay up to date with the launch. And I look forward to seeing you all on the battlefield soon. Right, we are getting bombed to oblivion so let's stop making mills. 
and we'll just spam anti-air and that should fix it. We've got a lot of sieves to make these so we should be okay. Just training up the divisions now as well. Really weirdly I don't own the cores of the original stuff still but I've got a lot of cores so we're in a much better situation. I think we're going to have a much better game here, so let's go get armoured trains though, just to help with the supply issue and the bombing, because we have no logistics. We'll add anti-air to the divisions as well to help out with that and help out with the bombers. Crap, I've totally forgot about D-Day. Oh, we're only in, it's only the 2nd of May though. Why is that popped up already? Have I broken the game by making this faction? I haven't got any naval invasions. We will put our army on the ports just to be sure, but I don't know why that kicked off a month early. Still, June has been in gone, or sick for June, and we haven't got a D-Day, so no idea what is going on here, but I'm not really going to complain because D-Day is pain. Oh, we have some paratroopers on the 17th of June. Right, no D-Day at all. I've broken the game and there's no D-Day, but win-win. They've got naval supremacy. Have they got? They haven't got a load of troops here, so God knows where this whole D-Day force is. But again, I'm not going to complain. We've actually got naval supremacy down here, so I wonder if I can jump over to Sicily and help the Italians out, because I won't be able to push on the front. So I've got 24 divisions now as well. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll set up a naval invasion and hopefully we can jump over here and liberate Sicily from the Allies. And obviously as soon as they're ready I lose naval supremacy so I can't kick that off. So I'll leave it a little bit just in case we get it back but I reckon the Italians have been sunk as there is a much larger number now. Right, I've just had the notification that... Romania is about to flip because the Soviets have joined. So if we take this Hungarian border and then we can push straight into Romania as soon as they jump. Yeah, we go. Right, march on in. Let's grab some territory. If we can knock out the Romanians, the traitors. This is when the run never goes well as well. All the Balkans switch over. And there goes Bulgaria as well. Yeah, this is not going to be a good run. I can tell already. Right, we are holding the Romanian front. There's not a lot of pushing. We've got a lot of green, but we can't do any pushing ourselves. But at least the Germans aren't getting stomped into the ground from the south. I think the plan is I'm going to make some Marines and we are going after the UK. If we can cap the UK, that would be a big help. Something like 10 width, we can get six of them out just to help us with the landing. Actually, the artillery doesn't add to it, does it? So let's go whack on a couple of artillery so they've got a real bite. 16 width, 2 artillery, something like that will do I think. That should get us on the beaches. I will pull my army, seeing as they are fine at holding now. I'm not really doing a lot. And there's a lot of troops, so there's supply issues. So let's pull those troops out. And we'll work towards getting ourselves some naval supremacy. We've got some cruisers coming along. We're building naval dockyards as well. Rome has fallen because Italy just wants to annoy the Axis. We'll get some naval bombers out as well to help with the subs in the channel and any naval combat we get into. Oh, wow, we are being... No, we're not bombed actually that much. We've got red air, but we're all right. We're not getting our industry bombed or anything, so that's good. Let's just continue making... We'll try and contest the air as best as we can still, though. Oh, I did get hit by a naval invasion I didn't pay attention to. Lucky I've got... Two full armies sat nearby, so that should be fine. There's not many troops there, as long as we can push them out before they reinforce. Let's set up our naval invasion as well, get the marines ready. We're going to hit Norwich and down towards London and Dover, I think. Oh, wow, they've got a lot of units. Oh, and there's more Americans there. They must have had a failed naval invasion, or oh, they're coming in to reinforce. Oh, they are pushing in Italy, though, so there's going to be a lot of troops in England, I think. We just need to wait for our little window in the English Channel to jump across and we are ready to go. So it should come. Oh, have we got it? Yes, we've got naval supremacy. Don't know where the fleet's gone. They've buggered off. But we are here, right? We are going. Let's see if we can make land and get some troops in England. A lot of troops in London. Wow. Ooh, we've got a couple of landings. They're not on every tile. They're just sort of stacking several tiles. So we should take Dover, okay? 
hopefully. Oh, we've taken Norwich up here in the uh, port, which is nice. They weren't guarding that one. If we can just surround Portsmouth and take that, we'll have a very good beachhead. Dover have retreated out, so we will snab that off of them. Oh, and they push us. And I've got a lot of troops have moved into Norwich, but uh, one motorizer's is pinning us. Right, we've just got to grab these free gaps in England when we can. Let's pin him. There's a lot of cast for them, but we have got some anti-air. But let's get all the fighters we have over England just to try and help with the air supremacy a little bit. Yeah, 1,000 cast England have got as well. Wow. Right, there's a few troops, so we should just need to push. Push and move and grab the spaces as always. They landed some more back in Dover, so as long as we can push them out, we've got a really good beachhead on the bottom. We've got London. They're hermit popping, so we're taking Dover. Plymouth's gone, so we can take the Marines and put them to normal and just reinforce another army. So two full stacks. We've got to plough our way through England. Yeah, I'm finding this very hard. The British and American are here, and they are a lot stronger than me for some reason, and I'm having major supply issues. I can't even take a tile with, like, one Mountaineer on it. Yeah, supply. I think we're just getting absolutely destroyed in the channel while our convoys can't push out at all. Anywhere I get green, I seem to be winning, and it just turns to red immediately. Yeah, the channel is red. We are Our fleet is gone. There's not really a way I can contest these convoy raids in the channel. Um, this is going to be not great, I think. Oh, wow, they are literally mean pushing me back out of England as well. How have they landed in Norwich? Right, take those back. So many fires going on, I don't know what's going on. But we're getting pushed and separated. Right, they've stopped attacking, though, for once. So hopefully, no, they've just split us there. Oh, I think we're going to lose four troops. I can't push them at all. They can seem to green push me and just meme me out of the, uh, the old reinforcement meme is a go. One tank. Can I take one tank out? No, because they've reinforced. Oh, no, I can. We've got some only a few tiles now, so hopefully we can stack in. We're getting green. We're literally holding in Dover. We've only got four, five tiles, so we're doing... Why is it getting red? No, we must be able to hold this. Supply's not great again, but we're, we're okay. We have literally been standing here for ages just guarding these ports, but I don't know what else to do. I'm hoping they're going to waste their... Equipment. When you look at Norwich, they've got so many troops there just attritioning away. Hopefully they'll run out of equipment. They're down 1 million men. We've lost 700,000. Uh, the Soviets are right on the border now. They've taken Berlin. I really want... And Italy's gone. I think we're going to have to pull back to the, uh, the homeland for the last stand. Our invasion of Plymouth that relieved the troops is having to be given up now. So back to the Netherlands it is. But I don't have enough convoys to get all the troops out, which is brilliant. Right, let's set up on the river line for our last hold. This is the beginning of the end game. Oh no, Germany's gone as well. It is the end game. Um, right. Ooh, we are down to our last few days, I think, here. Let's just do a fullback line. We'll just hold the Netherlands here around Amsterdam and Rotterdam. Use the river line on this south, I think. Paris liberated. Oh, and they naval be invaded behind me. Oh, that was so stupid. They did that, like, instantly. How could they possibly set up a naval invasion that quickly? Unbelievable. Uh, oh, and they've just nuked Amsterdam as well. The absolute bastards. Yeah, of course I've got no steel to trade with Germany. We're now going to have to fall back and defend a heavily radiated Amsterdam. Oh, no, they've pushed me out of Amsterdam. Oh, no, we've got troops back. Everyone to Amsterdam. You'll become super mutants in the fallout. I mean, we're still holding it, fair enough. This is unbelievable. I can't believe they can't really push us out. Surely it'll just be full of nuclear material. Oh, no, there's some helmets popping. Oh, yeah, this is it. You can take your radiated Amsterdam and have it and shove it up your ass. There we go, guys. Um, 9th of October we got to. So let's have a quick look at the leaderboard. I couldn't be bothered to change all the colours and everything. But the Netherlands are in 3rd with 9th of October 47. So 
Let me know which one you want me to revisit first then on this new run. If not, I'll just pick one myself. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're glad this series back. Like I say, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with this series again. Comment what you want to see and hit that like button. Peace out.